Hi, it's Brad with Engadget here, and this is our first look at the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. The iPhone 6 here is the 4.7 inch version. The iPhone 6 Plus is the 5.5 inch. Uh, ultimately, the same hardware. Uh, the only exception is in the camera. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that more in the detailed hands-on post. But ultimately, it's going to be the same. You got the Touch ID button down here at the bottom. Uh, definitely, and some extra icons here on the front screen. The displays are uh, certainly upon first impression quite beautiful, as uh, you would kind of expect. Uh, uh, because this one's here at 326 ppi screen, whereas this one is a little bit more at just above 400 ppi. So the pixel density is great. Uh, we look forward to taking these through its paces when we get the opportunity. Now, these are also thinner than the 5S. This is 7.1 uh, millimeter, whereas this, uh, this iPhone 6 is 6.9 millimeter. As you can tell, you got the volume rocket here with the, uh, with the mute button and uh, curved edges, which makes it a little bit easier to hold on to. That's something that you're going to run into a problem with the 5.5 inch, but I've taken a look at the Note 3 and compared it side by side, and this is actually the same width, maybe a slight sliver uh, smaller in terms of width over the Note 3. So you combine that with the extra thinness and uh, the, the curved edges, I think this is a little bit easier to hold than the Note 3 is. So in terms of comparison, that's always a good sign. Uh, continuing our hardware tour, down at the bottom you got your headphone jack, your lightning port, and and, uh, mics and speakers, all that fun stuff. Uh, you may not be able to tell this from uh, just the side glance, but the display is actually just a slight bit curved on the edges. So what that does is it helps you get a, a, a nice swipe gesture from side to side. It makes it uh, pretty seamless, as Tim Cook likes to say in his keynote. Uh, over on the right-hand side, there's the power button with the nano SIM slot. So that's all there is to it on the hardware for the fronts and sides. On the back, you got the 8 megapixel EyeSight camera with some uh, small improvements and the uh, True Tone uh, LED flash. Definitely, it definitely looks great. Uh, one little tidbit is that the Apple logo uh, is actually stainless steel, so if you're into that. Uh, one final thing that I want to show is the iOS 8 looks a little bit different on the iPhone 6 Plus because of the larger size. So you got the landscape mode on the springboard. Uh, you can also do things like in the mail, you've got a uh, dual pane option. And then let's say you want to go, and this is just too big for you, what you can do is you can do a double tap and have it go into one-handed operation mode. You're still able to scroll through everything and you just press it once and it goes right back to the way it was. Compact. The name is quite the mouthful, but fortunately the phone itself is not because what you're looking at here is 4.6 inch device compared to the Z3, which is a 5.2 inch.